Hi everybody, today is Friday, January 17th, 2020. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Just want to do a little update and interesting, it's been a little while, but on the City Bee series, um, we've had a really unusually mild winter so far here in the Midwest, Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, but what we had is something interesting. One of the last videos I did on these city bees, we got this cell tower and it is, uh, they were putting 5G panels and I had some people question me in the comments say, oh it's not 5G. Well, I just got an email confirmation because as the tower site owner and they pay me rent every month, way too low, but nonetheless it's a contract that I inherited with the property. Um, Anybody can go do it themselves. Go to tmobileforbusiness.com and it's going to take you and show you that 5G is completely available right now, currently, and that they're claiming, boasting that they are the biggest coverage that most spots. You can pause this and read it. This is the, the email, but it's all in the you go to the website and you can read it. You know, other 5G only covers city blocks. Our 5G covers thousands of miles. And there's coverage all across the United States. It's covering like, from what, at a glance, I don't know, 80, 70% or something like that. So it is up and active and, and it is running. Well, shortly after that happened, after they put them, changed out the panels up there, Something that I had noticed is we started getting a lot of bees right over here on this dock that they're on is a night light. And at that light, it's a 250 watt uh, metal halide light. Never had any problems through the spring and then into the summer until they put them panels up. And what happened is you can kind of see uh, through the course of walking, but over, the, over a couple months, we had a massive amount of bees that at night were flying over into that light. That they did not do that. We didn't have any anything like that at all during the uh, during the spring and early summer, as well as the bees here. Now, part of this is there's a normal die off of the summer bees. It's completely normal and natural when you get into October, November to have a lot of those summer bees die off. We've had some really warm days. Uh, a week ago or so, a week and a half, we had 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which was really unusual for January in Cincinnati. But we did, and there's still bees in there. They're still flying, but it's really going to be an interesting test in the spring to really see what further effect we have. Can anybody explain to me that light bulb has been up there for years? It was up there and it didn't have any impact on the bees at the beginning. However, it was correlated right after they put up those panels is when I started having the bees going and fly. I guess they're flying around that light at night, flying around, burning up their energy and dying and falling to the ground in a path you can't see I should have done this video a few weeks ago but I just got that email just want to share it I don't want to be a conspiracy conspiracy theorist uh, sometimes I like to read them and just kind of brush it off as you know oh it's a conspiracy but at the same time you got a question on this one you know just what just what is going on we got a couple more months to go through to get out of winter and we'll see what happens but there again, anybody that's really interested, I just the jury's out. But for, for those that are really interested in following the whole 5G situation and its effects, you know, it, it, there's no other correlation that I can put with, with the bees except the 5G panels. Nothing else has changed. Nothing at all has changed except for that t-mobile for business.com and you can they got a whole big website telling about where it's available you can type in a zip code or look at a look at a map 
and they can tell you all kinds of things about how it's going to be so great and revolutionize the world. Um, I don't know. I don't have answers. But there you go. I'll be having some more videos soon. Thanks for watching.